Hey everyone, Midlife Sniper here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I wanted to show you guys an easy way that I do my two PC setup, sending from my gaming PC that you can see here on the wall, sending it over to my uh, laptop you see behind me using the Elgato HD 60S Plus capture card and the PreSonus Revelator IO24 audio interface. So let's get started. All right guys, so here's the hardware setup. Uh, I've got the DisplayPort cable running from my graphics card straight down to the monitor, as you would expect. And then I've got a secondary HDMI cable that comes out of the graphics card and runs over, plugs into the Elgato HD 60S Plus, and then that just plugs straight into the uh, laptop using the USB-C. For the audio part of it, my Revelator IO24 is plugged into the gaming PC. And we're going to be sending the audio from the gaming PC over to the laptop using the uh, Elgato. All right, guys, so I'm here at my desktop. Once you get the hardware setup done, the next step is just to do the software setup. Uh, the first thing you want to do is right click and go to display settings in Windows. It'll pull up this box right here. Um, and as you can see, Right here, I've got one and two are displaying the same thing. So you scroll down. Now, my main display resolution is 2560 by 1440. So that's my gaming display. Um, so I'll leave it at that. And then go down here where it says multiple displays and select duplicate these displays. Once you do that, it's going to duplicate the signal that's running to the gaming monitor. And it's also going to send it over to the Elgato. So we'll close that out. And now we will right click and open the NVIDIA control panel. And under NVIDIA control panel, you can see right here, Acer XB323U, that's my main gaming monitor. And it also recognizes the HD60S Plus as a monitor. So clicking on my gaming monitor, you can see I'm running 2560 by 1440 at 240 Hertz. Click on the HD60S Plus, and you'll have to scroll down here and you'll have to select the same resolution, 2560 by 1440. It won't give you the option to uh, do the refresh rate uh, for some reason, mine's grayed out, but I think it basically captures at 60 frames per second. That's pretty much all the setup you need to do on the gaming PC for the video part of it. Now we're going to move over to the audio portion. Now I'm going to open the program for my Revelator IO24 audio interface. Uh, click the little picture and it's going to pull up the control panel here. And I've got another video where I talk about what all this stuff is, basically, um, if you want to check my earlier video that I did on the IO24. So what we're going to focus on now is going to be main. So main, you click right here over on the right, click the main tab. That's what's being sent to my headphones. Um, so this is what I hear. My game sound comes back through playback, this playback slider, and my microphone's on channel one. So what I use to send to the Elgato so that the Elgato gets sound along with the video is I click on this Mix B, and then Mix B is what I send to the Elgato. Now right here you can adjust the amount of microphone that gets sent versus the amount of game sound. Um, so that basically tells this control panel what audio signal to send through Mix B. And then we're going to go, I'm going to show you in a second how to actually send Mix B to the Elgato using the Windows settings. But right here, you can adjust your microphone versus your game volume, or if you have Discord or whatever you have on here. Now, if you go down to the little speaker icon in the bottom right, right click it and hit Sounds, it's going to pull up your Sound tab here. Uh, under Recording, if you scroll down, you're going to see Mix B. Revelator IO24. It's going to say Mix BL slash R Revelator IO24. Uh, you're going to highlight that, click the Properties tab, go to the Listen tab. You're going to check Listen to this device, and then you're going to do Playback through this device. You're going to select the HD 60S Plus NVIDIA High Definition Audio, and click Apply, click OK. And that's it. So now it's sending everything from Mix B that we just looked at in that other panel through the HDMI cable to your Elgato HD 60S, which is now able to be captured and recorded on your secondary computer or streamed either way. And that's all the setup you have to do on your gaming PC. Now we're going to move over to the streaming PC. 
So here we are on the second capture slash streaming PC. Uh, I've got OBS Studio running, and it's basically capturing an infinite window of itself. So what I do here is I go through on the audio, and just to not have any sounds from the laptop or the mic from the laptop come through, I just basically turn those two channels off. I scroll down, and I go to Video Capture Device, which is the Elgato HD60S. Um, and I make sure that the sound is coming through for that, which I can see that it is because my mic that's hooked up to the gaming computer is being sent over to here. Um, and then basically you just want to add a source of a video capture device and then add the Elgato HD60S Plus, and that'll pull it up here, and then you'll be good to go. The only thing that I had to do uh, with any kind of audio adjustments on here besides you know adjusting the slider right here to make sure that it's not peeking out or anything like that, was I went to Advanced Audio Properties, and under my video capture device, I did a negative 25 millisecond offset, um, sync offset, because my sound was a little bit off from the video. So I did that, and that seemed to correct it. Um, the reason it does that is because the gaming computer has a little bit of a latency there in the sound versus the video. So that usually corrects that. Uh, that's the only thing I had to do there, so I just... Just close that out and you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's my setup. Uh, hopefully it helped you guys in determining how to do your own setup. And uh, if you got some good value out of this video, I appreciate you guys hitting the like button and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.